North Korea's latest space launcher appears to be a new design and most likely uses engines developed for the nuclear-armed country's intercontinental ballistic missiles, an analyst said on June 1. The rocket, dubbed the Kalama-1, failed during its first launch attempt on May 31. It lifted off successfully but its second stage failed to start as expected, state media reported, and it crashed into the Yellow Sea. In a rare move, state media also released photos of the rocket's liftoff, despite the failure, offering international analysts their first glimpse of the new launcher. That engine is seen by some experts as derived from the Soviet RD-250 family of engines, while the earlier UNHA space launcher used clusters of engines derived from Scud missiles. Unlike the last time North Korea attempted to launch a satellite in 2016, it has a robust ICBM program and doesn't need to disguise its weapons tests as space launches, Panda said. Origin than the older UNHA series of space launch vehicles. Uh, it appears to make use of an engine that appeared in an earlier North Korean intercontinental range ballistic missile. Uh, in this case, we do have a fairly large payload fairing compared to the uh, earlier uh, North Korean space launch vehicles. Um, my estimate is that this is likely carrying a satellite payload on the order of around 200 to 300 kilograms uh, in mass. Uh, so it is possible that we may see a larger space launch vehicle. Uh, last year, Kim Jong-un indicated that he would eventually like to see space launchers that can launch multiple satellites at the same time. Uh, that is a technically ambitious objective for North Korea. Uh, we, we believe uh, increasingly that North Korea has largely managed to uh, become self-sufficient with manufacturing airframes, manufacturing largely many of the structural components of its engines, but there are still uh, likely some components that North Korea is importing from overseas. Yeah, so uh, based on their statements, uh, particularly Kim Yo-jong's statement, it does seem like they are planning on turning around a second space launch in a few days, probably before the June 11th window. Um, would I recommend that if I were North Korea's uh, space developers? Uh, I don't think so. I think I think they would need potentially more time to iterate and and diagnose what went wrong here.